Hello and welcome to my tutorial on making and using alcohol. So we can make ethanol in two ways. So we're going to hydrate ethene or by making beer fermentation. Um, so this is the hydration of ethene. And we just get ethene and a bit of water and lots of um, phosphoric acid and we put it at high temperature and pressures don't need to remember that those reaction conditions and you make C3 CH3 CH2OH make it liquid and the reaction is entirely reversible so conversion of E feed is usually incomplete and each time the reagents pass through the reactor only 5% of the ethene is converted into ethanol and all the all reactor gases are then recycled and put back into the, the, re the reaction at the start so I will put another arrow there to indicate it is reversible um, so I will go back on what I say now and you need to remember pretty much this entire equation and the reaction conditions but not necessarily that only 5% is used and it's refurbished but it's nice to appreciate that the high temperature and pressure is neat and moderate pre well water moderate pressure is so in the textbook here and needs to be operated continuously in order to, to get a high yield of ethanol so we'll look at yeast now um, this is the more fun one. This is where we get yeast at 37 degrees and a little bit of um, glucose. And we make lots and lots of ethanol. Two bowls, in fact. Wow. And as a result of the yeast uh, respiring, breathing, we make a bit of carbon dioxide as well. That's why you get the bubbles in your beer. So, the fermentation of carbohydrates, which is this glucose, it's anaerobic, so it doesn't require oxygen. So they put it in a massive um, fermenter. So we move on now to the physical properties of alcohols. So, quick definition, proper definition now. Volatility, volatility is the ease as a liquid turns into a gas, volatility increases as the boiling point decreases. So it's the it's the ease that um, something like ethanol would turn into a gas if I left the stopper off. At room temperature it would probably all turn into a ni nice vapour. Well, not a nice vapour, it's very smelly. Um, the liquid would be down, down here and yeah, so it's a transfer from a liquid to a gas, and it's it's ease to do to do it. And we can name an alcohol like this. This is a primary alcohol. So it has one carbon atom before the OH group here, the important part to name it. So we call it methanol, as it's got one carbon in its carbon chain, and. Butan 1O is considered to be a primary alcohol as well as before the OH group it has one carbon atom. Never mind that the the, but the butan part of the molecule, this alkyl group um, for now because we're talking about the the fact that this carbon atom is attached to this alkyl group and the primary alcohol is only one of these on its chain. So alcohols are soluble in water and alcohol molecules form a hydrogen bond. Now this is the slight attraction between oxygen's lone pair and hydrogen. So it brings about a slightly um, higher 
more boiling point than normal. Solid boosting decreases with the larger part of the alcohol molecule. It's made up of non-polar hydrocarbon chains like this one. Or the hydrocarbon chain does not form hydrogen bonds with water molecules, so these two are linked because they do not form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. They're, they are not um, so soluble in water. So now we'll move on to looking at secondary alcohols. So this secondary alcohol has got two carbon atoms attached to this pro propan 2 hole. I will just adjust my diagram as two CH3 groups are attached to this and secondary because there's two of two carbon atoms bonded to the main uh, carbon atom with the OH group on it and tertiary alcohols have three carbon atoms bonded to the main carbon chain so prime tertiary three of them secondary there's two and primary there is only one with methanol or one or one methyl methanol I'm not sure whether that would actually exist but one carbon atom for primary so pri pri for one second sec second sec for two I really don't think that's the best way to remember this but pri for one secondary for two and tertiary for three carbon groups so you're looking for CH3 groups or longer chains like um, my but my but butanol or butane here rather sorry butane here and we'll just go for some questions now so we're gonna have to go at naming these and drawing the structures but I recommend you to draw the structures first because it's a load easier trying to name them if you can see them so we'll give you a few seconds to pause and come back when you you ready? So, I'll just draw this one out. CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So, our OH is here. So, this would be propanol. One, two, three carbons and an OH here. There are no alkyl groups, so it makes our job a bit easier. We can just say meth, F, prop, and this is propanol. It's got three carbon check carbon atoms. And we'll just draw the next one now. One, two, three, four. Now for this part, I'm reading that it has one hydrogen atom and then bonded to that carbon at this carbon atom, the third one, we have an OH, an OH group. So the way I just draw it out is I have a H there, an OH there, and then I just carry on with the rest of the structure, CH2 and CH3. So we count our carbons again. One, two, three, four, but. So it's but. Ah, is there any double bonds of any kind? No. So we just call it but. Ah, I can't just write but, butan, friol. No. I'm starting from the end that the carbon atoms. Sorry, the OH group is on. So I, in theory, I count ref, left to right for this example. One, two, three, four. So this is butan 
2 oh. Right, um, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or um, any other comments you want to add, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I will also upload extra notes for the fermentation stuff because, well, it's nice. To, it's nice to read it from the textbook, but it's a little bit boring to explain in a in a video. And I just wanted to keep the uh, video duration a bit shorter and get to the actual chemistry rather than the make uses of alcohols, as you don't really need to know it for the exam. You just need to know the uh, chemistry, and I like talking about chemistry more than fuels and methylated spirits. So I'm I've left the notes in the description below. And you can have a quick read. If you want, there's also the questions as well. If you want me to go through those in a separate video, then I can do so. Thank you and goodbye.